this is my friend Ariel. Hi. And we're going to be doing another mental illness tag. Yay! So, since I have three friends who also are mentally ill, we're going to see, we're going to have them answer questions. So, number one, what is your mental illness? Well, when I was 16, I was diagnosed with chronic depression and social anxiety. Well, you've also answered number two. Good job. Which was, <laughs> when were you diagnosed? But you got it. Who knows about it? Um, pretty much like my closest friends, you, me, and my closest family members, like my direct family members know about it. So. Yeah. What treatment have you had for it? Um, ever since I was 16, I've been medicated for it. I've been to like a few psychiatrists and counselors, and that's pretty much it. Like, I haven't had much else about it. What's the hardest part about living with a mental illness or recovery? You can answer both, or you can answer one or the other, it doesn't matter. I'd say like the hardest part about it is that it, it affects your everyday life, like, work you know sometimes it can get in the way of like socially and all especially like when it comes to dating so it it does have like its effects and you know just some days you wish you were normal you didn't have to struggle with it but you do all right what is something that surprised you about your illness or recovery um like i i really like a lot of people are like oh you smile a lot oh don't seem like you're sad or anything and I guess maybe it's that you think that depression was more of just being sad all the time but it's not so much as being sad all the time as really not feeling much of anything so I'd say that was be like the most surprising part of it so just a question for me is it kind of like you feel numb yeah you say? yeah okay it, it's kind of like you don't feel like you're connecting with your surroundings like if something happy or you know people are overjoyed you really you don't feel it it's like it's not connecting okay and I personally ask that because I mean I have friends with depression I have you I have Eli but I mean I don't know about it obviously I didn't even know there was more than one type but apparently there is all right next question what is one false assumption about your particular disorder that you want to correct it's hard for them to feel like a certain emotion and with social anxiety it's like people are like oh just get out there don't be so anxious and it's not as easy as that you can't just throw anxiety to the side if I could do that I hey I wouldn't be sitting here talking so as much as we all wish yeah. we could <laughs> and then last question what is one false assumption about mental illness you want to correct just in general that it's not it's not as serious as other like illnesses or you know people that you know like it, how would you say it kind of like an injury or something you get what I'm saying like physical well I mean it is as serious as a normal injury but people don't take yeah, it yeah that's as what seriously. I'm saying like people don't so you're take just, it as, so you're saying that mental illness is just as serious as yeah, an injury it, or it physical is. illness it's, it's just as serious as that and a lot of people like oh it's in your mind it's not made up like that's one false assumption I like to throw away that it's like it's made up like it's on the person themselves and like no I mean it's just as serious as any other illness all right well that's all the questions thank you Ariel so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed Ariel and you'll be seeing Remy and Eli soon hopefully don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.